Hello, 11 City Tour. This is What's Up Thursday, and I'm Kristen Thomas. I live in Laguna Beach, California. I am almost 58 years old, and I'm a SUP race junkie. I've been racing for a decade already, so since 2010. I am a, um, most recently, I was the founding executive director of the SUP Industry Association, now a member of their board of directors, but an educator by trade, sixth grade teacher, tech specialist, educational consultant, uh, director of a nonprofit in education. So that's my background. Uh, I have three grown children, 25, 27, 30, and a husband of 33 years who did this awesome garden during these unusual times. We have a big old deck garden going. Um, longest paddle I've ever done, 32 miles, a couple of those. Um, Chattajack is a really amazing race in the state of Tennessee. I've only done that one once. Um, we also have a wonderful uh, tradition with my training club called Paddle for Ray. Um, it started when our uh, team member was battling cancer and we do eight hours, uh, lap around our harbor, which is a couple miles, starting at 3 a.m. Unfortunately, he passed away, but we have kept that tradition. So that's another one that's about 32. Um, toughest route. Um, I want to say that usually in a race, the toughest thing I find is side wind, which I do find if there's really long stretches where you can barely paddle on the other side and have to continue to paddle one-sided. But I have to say the race I bonked the worst at was humidity. It was all about, um, it was down in Florida. I don't train in humid air and I don't know how to prepare for it. I've asked people and they said, just got to get in it and practice. But uh, that was one, it was only an eight miler, but at about mile five, I don't know what it was. There probably was something I could have done with hydration or something, but those are probably the toughest uh, conditions that I find, but what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? Um, what does paddling give me? So much. I just absolutely um, am addicted to water, which uh, they have found is scientifically proven to be a good thing, whether you're in on or around water. If you haven't read Blue Mine by Wallace uh, Nichols, I think, uh, look that one up. But besides just the um, amazing how much I love being on the water and connection to nature, uh, the community that we have in stand-up paddling is so fantastic. And so the people that I've met, amazing. The adventures I've gotten to go on, um, everything about stand-up paddling, I absolutely love. Love being in shape, love the health benefits. Biggest title. Um, <laughs> Being in the right place at the right time, in 2013, I actually won two world titles, in quotes, I will say, because uh, definitely wasn't the fastest paddler in the world, fastest female, but um, one was the BIC One Design World Championship that they had that year. They had had qualifying races, and I happened to be at a surf expo where they had a qualifier, and then the finals were in Puerto Rico, where I was at a race called Paddle Royale, which was a great one. Um, so I won that and then the WPA World Championship for whatever reason it gets complicated there was another event uh, all the pros weren't there so um, won a world title at the WPA Championship in Lake Las Vegas both in 2013 favorite place to paddle ah love to paddle everywhere so I'm gonna say my favorite place is the one that I'm planning to go to next just got off an, an amazing Col uh, Colorado River camping trip paddle last weekend. That was our first excursion. It was social distancing and there were only a few of us um, and it wasn't crowded. Uh, but um, ocean, lake, river, absolutely anywhere. Love it. Um, have been fortunate of being able to travel and have gone to, uh, haven't gotten to Europe yet, but many races. Um, in countries around the US and a lot of different states within the United States. So have I done SUP 11 City Tour? I haven't, obviously. I haven't paddled that far, but what an amazing tradition. What a great thing you have going. I hope um, there's a chance this year, maybe. Um, depends what happens with travel restrictions, but I was thinking now that I don't go to, um, I, I've always had a, a conflict with a trade show called Surf Expo, but I don't need to go to it this year. So I was hoping this might be the year I do it. If not this next year, um, look forward to that amazing five day tradition and being a part of the wonderful SUP 11 city tours. Thanks.